Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are unboxing Fendi. You guys know I have been having a moment with Fendi and it has not stopped. I just love their bags. Some of them are a little bit heavy, yes, but all in all, I do love the styles um, and the quality. Now, you might think this is the worst color ever, but I'm telling you, it goes with so much. Look at it. It is silver on silver. And the first thing you'll notice is that the leather is like this crushed, distressed leather, which is absolutely beautiful. There is silver hardware as well. So it's really got that, you know, silver tone through and through. There are the feet down the bottom. I'm gonna zoom in here guys, so you guys can see how beautiful this leather is. It's just, I don't know, there's something about it for me. I do have other silver bags, which is why I got this one in because I have to tell you guys, I wear silver with so much. I love how it contrasts with casual outfits. It doesn't look space age like I really thought it would, but I'm gonna go in here so you guys can have a look at some of the detail, you know, some of the detail around the handle, stitching, the Fendi in there, as well as the pocket inside. There is a strap in there as well. So strap looks like this. It is adjustable. And there are the Fendi loops at the ends. So I like how easy that is. And it's just a two compartment bag with one little flap pocket. So no zipper pocket. It is a fairly lightweight bag considering Fendi is notorious for having really heavy bags, but this one doesn't seem that bad. I think this is the essentially style, uh, but I'll put on screen if that's not correct. It's beautiful guys. And I think this size is really, really practical. It's not large, but it's not small. It's kind of this in-between medium, really great everyday bag if you do carry a little bit, uh, like makeup and stuff like that, but it is not a mini bag, guys. So not small. I would say it's a large small bag or a small medium bag. Let's get into the comparisons now so you guys can really um, sort of see. So this isn't for size, but just so that you guys compare the leathers, this one is just in a smooth finish leather in the silver in Chanel. And this one looks very different. It gives off different vibes to this one. This one is so distressed and there's just something really edgy about this. Whereas Chanel, I find Chanel very hard to be edgy. So I find this to be more of a proper bag. Plus it's a lot smaller as well. And I wear this bag so, so much, particularly with jeans. I don't know what it is with silver and jeans, but I find it just looks so effortless. So I do grab this one quite a lot. So I thought I would get it in a larger size, get a silver in a larger size because for those times when this one's a little bit too small. So that's why I kind of purchased that. All right, the next comparison I wanna do is the other Fendi essentially that I have, which is this one. Um, is it the exact same bag? I think it is, but let me tell you, this green one is so heavy in comparison to this. I don't know why. Is it the extra leather on the edges? Is it the strap? No, the strap looks similar. So this one is not twice as heavy, but it is dramatically heavier than this one. So there you go. They are the same, supposed to be the same bag, but the green one looks a little bit fatter, a little bit larger to me, but it's not, it's the same. So yes, but there you go. Still love this bag to death. This color, it's, I find it one of the most unique green colors that I've ever seen. So I still use it and wear it and I love to wear this with white. Okay, the next comparison I wanna do is with a classic trendy CC so that you guys can sort of see the difference. I find these very comparable just because they're very similar in size. So I think capacity wise, they're 
nearly the same. I actually think you could probably fit a little bit more in the Fendi only because it's more of a bucket construction. There's only two compartments um, and you can fit like a drink bottle in there, whereas you cannot fit a drink bottle in this. And the flap closure sort of minimizes what you can put in rather than like a bucket style. So keep that in mind. If you guys like carrying bottles of water, the trendy's not gonna work for you. And the last comparison I wanna do is with the Birkin 25. This is my favorite Birkin that I own. It is in the Mauve Sylvester color um, in the Epsom leather. And I just adore this bag. I don't know what it is about this pink color with silver. It just sets my heart on fire for some reason. I think it's the cool tone in the pink. It's not like a baby pink. It's more of a, like a lilac pink, um, but there's something about it that just does it for me. But capacity wise, um, I'm just showing you the comparison. Obviously the Birkin is larger because of the base and you could probably fit a little bit more, but they're very, very similar in size. Okay, we're gonna head into the Monshots now. Obviously you can handhold this bag as a top handle. That's how I love using these bags. I actually don't attach the strap unless I'm going to the supermarket or somewhere where I need hands-free. If I'm, say I have a day of shopping or an afternoon of shopping, I'll put the strap on and swing it over my um, body. But normally from day to day, I just use the top handle and just take it in and out of the car. I find that's easiest for me. You can put this in the crook of your arm. It is only just big enough for me. If I was wearing a jacket, it probably wouldn't work. But um, if I'm wearing just a basic top or if you're wearing a dress, it definitely would. So uh, you could definitely do that. I'll put the strap on now and then you can see it on the shoulder. Remember guys that this strap is adjustable so you can make it a little bit shorter if you want to or you can make it longer. I've just put it on the middle hole but I'll show you it on the shoulder and then I will show you it crossbody and show you what that actually looks like. These bags are so functional when they're crossbody because you can just swing them back, not care about them. They are a little bit boxy, but they're not so boxy that it's gonna annoy you on the body. I find this bag is sort of the best of both worlds. It's still a little bit boxy, but it's not so boxy that it's gonna protrude out of your body and look awkward and weird. So that's what I really like about this Fendi style. Okay, there you go, guys. This is my new Fendi, essentially in this beautiful crushed silver uh, finish. I I mean, I haven't come across a bag like this before. I feel like it is just so unique. And because of the way the leather is, each one is gonna be different. It's not gonna be exactly the same. You might get more wrinkles with some, less wrinkles with others, lines in different spots. And that's kind of the beauty of it, um, which is what I'm loving. But thank you so much for watching this video. Remember guys to subscribe to my channel. I do two videos a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays and head over to my Instagram. I'm super prominent over there. Um, I post nearly daily over there, a lot of bag content and would love to have you as part of our community. I hope to see you next time in my next video. Bye for now.